Force Unleashed is a new chapter in the Star Wars saga. It's set between episodes three and four, which is a really dark time period where the last of the Jedi are being hunted down by Darth Vader and the Empire is rising to power. You play Darth Vader's secret apprentice, which is a brand new character that we created for the game, and you have access to these over-the-top, amped up, unleashed force powers, and that's really kind of the core of the game. The story for The Force Unleashed really does revolve around the journey of Darth Vader's secret apprentice, who begins as Vader's apprentice, but goes on kind of his own quest and discovers things about himself that ultimately might lead him towards redemption. It's a really turbulent time period, and it's a really rich time period, so we were able to include a lot of different characters and a lot of different events that fans should know. So we were also able to create new places and, and new characters because this is a, a brand new story. So we introduce you to new characters like Juno Eclipse, who's the, the pilot that ferries you around the galaxy and ultimately becomes a love interest for the Secret Apprentice. And we have Proxy, who's your droid sidekick, and a Jedi general named Master Coda, who is kind of this hard-boiled, very militant Jedi. And it was really exciting to be able to take all these elements and put them together to create a brand new Star Wars story, but really be able to bridge the gap between the two trilogies in the same time. From the outset, we knew we wanted to reimagine the Force and really kind of re-envision it in many ways. And we came up with this idea of the Force Unleashed, which is the Force over the top and out of control. So we started looking at a lot of third-party software. We started looking at developing tech internally. Um, and ultimately, we ended up forming partnerships with companies like Pixelux Entertainment to develop Digital Molecular Matter, which is a simulation-based system that simulates the way the materials behave in the real world based on real-world properties. So when I throw a Stormtrooper into a set of metal doors, those doors will actually bend and buckle. We also formed a partnership with a company called Natural Motion to develop a technology called Euphoria, which infuses all of our characters with biomechanical AI. So when I grip that Stormtrooper, he'll writhe, and when he actually hits that door, he'll try and protect himself, or he'll roll with the, the fall when he slams into the ground. So all these things just really heighten the sense of authenticity and give us a much more interactive and destructible environment than we've seen before. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so for me, working on this project really has been a dream come true. It, it, to have the opportunity to tell a new chapter in the Star Wars saga and set it in this really rich and vibrant time period has been incredible. And we really have tried to treat this in many ways uh, with all the, the respect of the film. So um, we, we have a very rich score that has a love theme and has themes for all the major characters and the major planets. And I was recorded up at Skywalker Sound using the, the uh, San Francisco Symphony. Uh, with a composer named Mark Grisky, who did a lot of great work for us on Knights of the Old Republic. So that was really exciting. To be able to focus on creating brand new characters, to be able to take the time to develop a character like Juno Eclipse, or a character like Proxy, or even a character like Kazdan Paratus, who's a uh, Jedi that you hunt down early in the game, who's kind of this crazy adult Jedi who's often hiding on a junk world. Those things were, were very rewarding and exciting for us. And hopefully what we're doing is we're creating new toys in this Star Wars sandbox that other people will come and use later on down the line and, and tell other stories about, you know, Juno or Proxy or some of these locations that we've created.